Regina Daniels welcomes a baby boy in America. I'm a rapist, says Peruzzi. Hello people, it's your girl Lami. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, kindly help this channel grow by clicking the red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you get notified every time I drop a new video. So a few days back, Nedun Oko, that's Regina Daniels husband, released two stunning pictures of Regina Daniels with her pregnancy belly. And under the picture, he captioned it, my baby is having a baby. So most people thought Regina Daniel was actually still pregnant and was expecting a baby anytime soon. I also thought the same. I thought she was still pregnant and was expecting a baby. But on the contrary, somebody that is in the know, somebody that knows, someone that works in the hospital where she gave birth in America said she actually gave birth on the very day they released the picture. So she had given birth and it was after she gave birth, she released those pictures that she gave birth to a baby boy in an hospital in America. So apparently what happened was, after she had already put to bed and they have already seen the baby and welcomed the baby, then she decided to release the pictures of herself while she was still pregnant. So after her husband released those stunning pictures of her with her belly bomb, she also took to her own page too to release some video clips of her dancing with her belly, with her friends and all that, making so many people believe she was still pregnant. But on the contrary, she had already given birth before she uploaded those pictures. Well, I won't blame her because that's what we mostly do in our culture as in, in Nigeria. We don't usually announce our pregnancy. We don't announce when we'll give birth. We don't announce the sex of the child until the person gives birth and you know either it's a boy or a girl. So congratulations to Regina Daniels and her husband, Prince Nenduwoko. And God bless the new baby. So moving on to something else, looks like all over the world revolution is taking place. Blacks are tired of being seen as inferior or second class citizen and just trodden upon anyhow. First it was the issue of George Floyd that was wickedly choked and killed in Minneapolis by cops just because of his skin color. So after this video of him being killed by the police went viral, this act of wickedness has now sparked protests among people all over the world, not just in America where it happened, other people in other Parts of the world are also condemning that act. They are all protesting the killing of this man in broad daylight. Now meanwhile, while that is going on all over the world, in Nigeria also, we are also facing our own. Now I honestly concur with the person that started the saying that 2020 should be deleted and reinstalled. So many things have gone down in this year that has just reached half. So many things have happened between January and June. So many things has gone down. Anyways, in Nigeria, is either the case of kidnap, sexual assault, brutal killing by police, rape and all that. The recent case that is going on now is the case of a lady that was apparently raped in a church, also killed in cold blood. And also there's another story of a young girl that was killed by a trigger happy police. While those two protests were going on, seeking for justice for these two girls, so people started coming out to talk about their experiences, those that have been raped in the past that couldn't talk. So they found their voices and started talking about their experiences about rape. So there's this particular lady that came out to call out Peruzi, that's Tobechuku Oko, for raping her sometime in 2012. The lady simply referred to as Princess said sometime in 2012 that she couldn't remember the exact month but she remembered going to Peruzzi's house with her friend. So when they were there, she herself, her friend and Peruzzi were sleeping in the same room and she noticed Peruzzi was touching her seductively and she didn't want her friend to get to know so she decided to leave the room for them. So she left the room and went to a, another sitting room like she said another parlor. So while she was there, having thought Peruzzi won't come to meet her there. So while she was fast asleep, she said Peruzzi came in and started trying to touch her and doing all that. And she didn't want to shout because of her friend. But eventually Peruzzi had his way and slept with her. But after the whole incident, she wasn't herself because she couldn't tell her parent what happened. Because as at that time, her parent didn't know she was in Lagos. I understand what she was trying to say there because I remember those times in school. Most of them would go home or travel somewhere just to visit a friend or probably go out with a friend and they won't tell their parents where they are so i guess that was what happened to her too then that was why she couldn't inform her parents of what she was going through so now 
because of the story of people coming out to talk about their experiences with rape and all that, so she found her voice and called out Peruzzi. After she called out Peruzzi, Peruzzi also came out to deny the allegation, saying it was all false and she was lying. But as something I used to say, the internet never forgets. Whatever you do that is on the internet lives there. Even after you've changed or after you're somebody else or something else, the internet will never forget your past. So apparently, people dug out a tweet, in fact not just one tweet, different tweets of Peruzzi claiming to be a rapist, as in he himself claimed he was a rapist. To even further confirm the allegation by this lady, the tweet was made around the time, that very 2012, around the time the lady mentioned she was raped by Peruzzi. Now after this tweet went viral, Peruzzi quickly went to delete those tweets. Those tweets are no longer there on his page again. But before he could do that, you know Nigerians were who they are, they had already screenshot all these tweets and it's already viral, going viral. So in those tweets, we could see where Peruzzi was claiming to be a rapist and if a lady comes to him and he tries to want her to have sex with him and she doesn't agree, the next thing is for him to rape the lady. So all these tweets now are now further confirming what the lady said about him but however the twist of the whole issue now is the lady's friend who is Aisha that the lady said she escorted to visit Peruzzi has now come out to tell her own side of the story according to the lady the lady said her friend was lying that it never happened don't worry about that they have been laughing my ass out apart from the fact that i'm still trying to crack my head but i've been laughing my ass out this is, this is not for you at all. I can imagine, I can imagine them dragging you into the dumpster. Yes! Like, how are you going to bring my name to something that that's not even it at all? It's not good. Mm. Now, there are two sides to this story. Is either the friend is lying or the friend doesn't know what went down that day. Some people said the friend might have probably been bribed by Peruzzi to keep quiet and not let people know what happened. While some said she probably did not know this thing went on that day or this thing went down between them that day. But the truth is I smell foul play there. Is either Peruzzi really really slept with this lady as in raped this lady truly or she was not raped or probably the friend was telling lies maybe because she had been bribed or the friend didn't know what happened so so many things must have gone wrong in between that but now with Peruzzi's tweets he's now confirming what this lady said anyways let me know what you think about this issue in the comment section below after all I wasn't there so I don't know what went on that day but what I know is raping a lady is not the way to go about things like they used to say there are many fishes in the ocean if one doesn't accept your proposal your advances then go to the next person the next person will definitely accept and if the next person doesn't accept there's always a next person a next person and a next person instead of raping a woman and this thing has if it truly happened it happened years ago now it's coming out to haunt you so these things internet never forgets be careful of whatever you do on this note, I'm going to call it a day. Until I come your way next time, please say no to rape. Real men don't rape. Catch you all next time in my next video. Peace.